Thank you, Madam Clerk. Colleagues, um, it's no secret that public safety is one of my number one concerns. Today, I am in introducing legislation to make it clear that when you are in San Francisco, you are free to exercise your First Amendment rights without intimidation or fear from those carrying concealed firearms. Last August, a proposed demonstration in my district on Chrissy Field by a far right-wing group wreaked havoc throughout this entire city. Coming off the heels of violence in Charlottesville, there were serious concerns about concealed handguns at this rally due to a 2010 federal firearms law that allows guns in our national parks. Many officials went on record at that time expressing their concern about the potential for violence. The United States gun homicide rate is 25 times higher than other developed nations. Over 90 Americans are shot dead in this country every day and hundreds more are injured. Let me be very clear. It does not feel like a free country when our children and our loved ones can be shot dead at a concert, in church, at a movie theater, a nightclub, at a rally, at work, or anywhere else. It doesn't feel like a free country when our children huddle beneath their desks as they practice lockdown drills for mass shootings. San Francisco is a beacon and has led the way on many issues, like the right to marry whomever you love. I saw that every day as the county clerk. Our First Amendment rights, the freedom of speech, and the right to peacefully assemble to protest should not be infringed, chilled, or suppressed by the presence of guns at public events. There can be no peace when the threat of concealed weapons are present. To make matters worse, the House of Representatives approved and the Senate is now considering what is called the Concealed Carry Reciprocity Act, the NRA's number one priority bill that would allow people with out-of-state permits to carry a concealed gun in San Francisco, which could dramatically increase the number of people carrying concealed guns in our city. Imagine the chilling effect that would have on events like the rally we had in the Castro after the Pulse nightclub shooting, or our Unite Against Hate rally we had in August, and most recently, our Women's March. Not only did the Patriot Prayer Rally send our city into chaos, costing millions, it struck the fear of violence in many, and that must end. The entire Presidio practically shut down. Museums were closed. My son's seventh grade camping trip at Rob Hill Campground was canceled. Sporting leagues, sporting leagues had to cancel games. It is time for San Francisco to lead the way again and protect our residents and visitors from the threat of gun violence in our publicly owned spaces, at public gatherings, and other First Amendment related events in our beautiful city. Thanks. The rest I submit. Thank you, Supervisor Stephanie.